Hey, it's Ice Age TV, and welcome to Ice Age TV. And what am I doing now? Wow. See that box? That box used to be in here. Why am I doing that? Why am I cleaning out this beautiful Bronco? I mean, it's a beautiful Bronco, dude. I mean, this thing's so nice. I mean, even for me. Yeah. Do I think I'm a fool? Am I a fool as I clean out my vehicle? Yeah, I think I am. This is such a nice truck. I mean, this thing is so nice. It's just such a badass truck. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm crazy. Well, I got another project. It's just project after project. I'm gonna take all this off. Yeah, so that takes two hands. Bye bye, Bronco. Bye bye, Bronco. Oh, and the adventure begins. Good Lord. It's already 2 30 in the afternoon. I tell you, man. I tell people all the time, spending money, it takes a lot of time. I mean, I ain't lying. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, so what am I doing, right? What the hell is going on with all the windows down? I'm in the... heading to Baltimore. What do you think's going on now? Yeah, I know, that's the problem. Too much wind, too much noise. I mean, I get it, just uh, the addictions, the addictions. Put all my controls on here. Yeah, the car addictions. I mean, I mean, I just can't stand it. Why? 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 I mean, sincerely, why? Why do I have to make a Bronco, Bronco Raptor? Yeah, I don't have to buy it. Right. Yeah, you remember that thing in, in Thinking Grow Rich, Complete Self-Discipline? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hear you, but here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's the problem. So I've called my other Ford dealer to kind of feel them out what's going on. And they're like... You're getting that car for how much of ADM? They're like, that's silly. <laughs> They're like, good Lord, haven't you brought it home yet? Yeah, they've gotten one Bronco in so far. One guy bought it at MSRP. So if you order these things, so if, yeah, if I had the brains, I would have ordered one and just had it come in. I pay MSRP and end of story, but I ain't that smart. But here's the thing. A guy just bought one down at the Coon Sterling Ford here in Virginia. He bought, he ordered one, came in, took it home, and I guess he drove it a little bit and he sold it for one hundred ten thousand dollars. So you know, conservative number, he made twenty thousand dollars. Hey, thanks, buddy, for no freaking blinker. You don't understand how people don't know how to put blinkers on their cars. You have blinkers in your cars, everybody, for a reason. So, so yeah, so he just sold that for a buck ten. And that isn't really my mission. My mission is to buy this Bronco. I can drive it probably for six months to a year. And if I get bored of it, I can sell it. And for the most part, I don't think I'm going to get hurt. Yeah, but the, but the irony to all this is, look at the used market. This makes no sense whatsoever what's going on. Because your, your advocate alliance or your alliance advocate, the YAA people, the father-son just did a whole video with some Toyota executive or Toyota person and Toyota doesn't have the cars. They're on to make, they, they don't have any new cars. They can't produce them. I mean, so does this make any sense what's going on? The used car market is tanking, but yet it's the same story. The new manufacturers can't get cars to the car, car lots. I mean, I, I had a, a video here a few weeks ago confusing it's, it's confusing time. Just beyond understandable. So I called down there and wanted to get another value on my Bronco. And their position is, if I wasn't a friend of theirs, they don't even want it. If they wanted it, they would actually be three to five grand less than what this dealer is offering me to buy the deal in this uh, Bronco Raptor. Oh, it's so funny. I'm just assuming people know what the hell is going on. So, yeah, if you're brand new, you know, if you're following my channel, you get it. So, hey, it's Ice Age TV. It's Bronco Raptor Adventures Part 3 Continued. Yeah, why didn't I say that a while back? So sorry, but it's to my channel. Yeah, just too much, too much information, too much going on, blah, 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 blah. And I'm trying to get this deal to go down. And it's kind of not really going down the way I want it to go down. But it's, it's, it's one of these things where, yeah, it's my addictions, my fixation. So until I get the fixation and getting this freaking Bronco Raptor, which why the hell do I want it? I don't know. I don't know. Now, 
when I'm driving that thing home back this afternoon, yes, I'm already kind of giving you more information. You're going to do the deal? Yeah, well, yeah. I just took apart my brat, my, my Raptor, my Bronco here to take it to the dealership to give it to them to get for the other Bronco, Raptor, which is much taller than this. It's harder to get in and out of. So when I get this bad boy, does this bad boy just like radiate incredible, you know, wow factor that it's just like wow beyond wow? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if the guys on the forums are telling me, yeah, this thing's just, the, the, the Braptor is just insane. The, the journalists are saying the Braptor is just insane. They're saying it's the, it's the goat of all the freaking off-road SUVs built to date. Yeah, that's what they're saying. The greatest of all time. That's what they're claiming. So, yeah. So, do I have to have one? Of course. I mean, come on. I've got GT500s. I've got Hellcats. I've got a Raptor truck. I mean, why wouldn't I own a Raptor Bronco? I mean, so, and you know what's incredible? So many people over this past year have reached out between the forum and even on my YouTube channel is, are you getting a Raptor Bronco? And I'd be like, nah, I don't want one. <laughs> What is wrong with you? I'm sure some people are going to tell what is wrong with you? Yeah, I know. I'm just sharing my adventures. Yeah, did I say I was, uh, you know, the smartest of the group? I didn't ever say that, to the record. I haven't been, that hasn't been my channel. My channel's been about my adventures and my ideas and views. And yeah, am I a wild man? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so to back it up, for anybody just sort of watching this video, today is the day... And I'm going to go buy a Bronco Raptor. Now, how many people do you know right now that have the availability to buy a Bronco Raptor? Yeah, it's slim to none. Yes. Yeah, good luck. Good luck going to find one. And yeah, when you go find one, you're going to get a you're going to get a hard you know reality check when the person says I want one hundred twenty thousand dollars for my Bronco, or they say I want one hundred ten, or they say I want one hundred, or they say they want ninety. You know, whatever it may be. You're going to be like, but, 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 but it's only $80,000. Yeah, right. We'll go order yourself one in the next year. I mean, that's fine. If you wait it out for a good year or more, that's fine. I mean, I did. I waited it out for this freaking thing to come in forever. And now I'm getting rid of it. Bought it in January. Beautiful rig. I mean, I, I really do love this rig. I mean, so part of me is like, oh, man, I'm really giving this up. And in the end, I'm going to be like, why would I do it? Yeah, you've seen my videos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, so so we, we, we hashed out yesterday. I spent all day yesterday trying to get this deal done yesterday. I didn't want to deal with it again another day. But here's the thing. There's a ton of people now on this Bronco. Most people don't know that this Raptor's at the dealership. I'm sure with me sharing my video, some people have probably gone to the Coons Baltimore Ford to probably look to their website to find out if they got a Bronco or Raptor sitting there. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure somebody's done that. Like, hey, maybe I can pick it up. This guy doesn't take it. There's no doubt in my mind that if I walk away from his deal by this weekend, it's gone. It's gone. I mean, in all reality, the the GM borderline bought it for himself. Borderline. The a key sales guy wants this thing bad. I mean, bad. And he has he can do it, but they're not letting him do it because he wants a little better deal. In all sincereness. I think I'm getting a better deal than what he thought he's getting a better deal. And I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Whatever. But the point is, if I don't take it, it's gone. So we've kind of kept this thing locked up since yesterday. Me trying to finagle a deal. And yeah, the deal really went down yesterday. But I just really had to think it through what makes sense. And we've tried to do some other things. And they're just not, it's not going to work. So I'm coming to the closure. It's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get this vehicle because there's no doubt in my mind I can buy it. And if I want to part with it down the road, I can part with it. There's just no doubt in my mind. And, you know, that's that's why I'm buying this vehicle. And I want to have some fun time in it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm letting this wild track go. Yes, but sincerely, what's the market doing with these things right now? The market right now is not that great. So in all reality, I could drive, I could drive around this Raptor for probably six months to a year have a blast in it. If I come to closure, I want to come back to my Bronco like this. I guarantee I can pick up a really nice used one for less money than I paid for it and get a heck of a deal. Yeah. Somebody like, yeah, right? Nope. Nope. The Bronco, 
What's interesting to me about these cars that come out and people clamor to them, it's a niche group of people. I've witnessed this so many times. Not everybody wants a Ford Bronco, but everybody gets fixated on every wants one because overnight, 200,000 200, people want to order a Bronco. Okay, but then it just thins out. A million people aren't ordering the Broncos. So what happens is, then the story is, Ford can't build 200,000 Broncos in one month. They can build 10,000 Broncos a month, 12,000 Broncos a month. So there you go. So if you have 200,000 orders, that's basically close to a two-year waiting time if you're number 199,999. Yeah, you're the guy that's in a wait close to two years. I don't think that plays out that way either in all reality. But anyways, the whole point is the heyday of all the Bronco people flocking to go buy a Bronco, they've disappeared. And I just talked to my dealers, like, what's going on? Why? Why, when everybody was crying the blues, they can't get a Bronco, now the Broncos are on the lots and people don't want to buy them. What is going on? Oh my gosh, you think I'm confused? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not confused. I'm just a crazy man. That's the bottom line. I mean, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I can do and can't do. And yeah, can I do this deal? Yeah, I can do this deal. Is it the smartest thing to do with money? I don't know. Not really. But at the same time, think about this. I can continue to make payments on this vehicle here, right? And the value isn't going to go up, right? I can make payments on this Bronco Raptor, and if I want to walk away from six months to a year from now, I can pretty much guarantee you every payment I made towards that Bronco will be credited back to my checking account because I'm going to get I'm going to get what I paid for that Raptor. The Raptor's not going to be a dime a dozen vehicle. It's not. I mean, I already know that it's two to three thousand units a year. They're building ten to twelve thousand of these a month. A month. That's a radical difference in numbers. So what they build, they build two, 3,000 of these, you know, within a week's time. They're going to build two, 3,000 Raptors in a year's time. Wow. Oh, my gosh. So now the GT500, that's a whole other equation, part of this whole ball game. And, yeah, I'd like to get that deal done, but I can't because the bottom line is, Ford is not going to buy both deals. Ford is like, nope, nope, nope. That's it. You know, you're, it's a cap. What they're saying is, I have X amount of vehicles financed with them, and they, then they cap you of exposure. So that's what's going on behind the scenes. What you don't know is for Ford Motor Credit, they're like, hey, we this guy has a lot of cars with us, and we're just capping the amount of money we're exposed to this guy. So we're done with this guy buying his toys, and if he wants to continue to play, he's got to come to the table with some money to make it work. That's the challenge. That's what's going on behind the scenes. And that's why I can't get the GT500 and this at the same time. It's either or. Or I take something on my personal side and I trade it for GT500. Which that's, you know, in all reality, if, if, if that made sense, I could do that. But I've done my research on the GT500 and surprisingly enough... The, the price on the car right now that I've got that deal at is a good price, but it's not like a killer price. I'm kind of surprised. The 2009 GT500 Mustangs, their their market is anywhere from 18, 20 grand up to like forty thousand dollars, just depending on the condition of the car. So right now that car, it's not priced where it's this incredible, insane price. So it's not like I can't find our GT500 2009 within the same price. Yeah, so that's that's why I'm like, well, it's a nice car. If we could make it work, we could. I would, maybe. But the downside is, you know, it's not that it's not that unique and that that big a deal for it to make sense for me to to try to really go out of my way to make the deal go down. Now the kid. Yeah, the kid is actually on the page, and she would probably take it. How do I make that work? I'm always, I'm always thinking, right? I'm driving and thinking. So now, yeah, this turns into another late day, because I'm not going to get to Coons Baltimore Ford close to 4 o'clock. I've already told them, take out the showroom, because people are already clamoring all over that thing. And, you know, take it out of the showroom. 
get it ready. I'm going to roll up. My car is already all cleaned up. Pop my tags off. And here's your money, signs and documents. And I'm gone. And I'm heading back. But it's still going to be 5 o'clock. It's going to be another day where it's going to be 6 o'clock before I get back in. But I just put this to bed. And the biggest thing is, I already know. Other people, this in this Washington D.C. metro metro area, there are people who make so much freaking money. It's in, it's insane. It's it's incredible. So if somebody roll in and buy this thing and get a and actually pay more than I'm gonna pay for it. Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind. There's, you don't know the deal I have. They don't know the deal I have, and I don't want to tell them right now in my YouTube video what the deal I have. It's a good deal. I've already made phone calls, so that's why I'm kind of now like, okay, forget it. This is kind of a one-time deal and it's just not going to stick around so that's why i'm doing it and that's the only reason i'm doing it and to keep this bronco i could structure a whole other deal with me giving up one of my other vehicles and keeping this vehicle but i'm just said for what for why i mean i already know that down the road you're going to be able to buy these broncos at a discounted price yeah you may think no i'm telling you right now what i'm hearing from these dealers right now is people are not banging down the door to get a Bronco. Wow. The Mustang Mach-E that I traded in. Nobody's banging on the door to buy the Mustang Mach-E. Wow. What is going on, right? Yeah. We've had this conversation this morning and throughout my many conversations. Yeah. But at the same time, for Toyota, they're claiming they can't bring any cars to car dealerships. But Ford is now bringing tons of cars to car dealerships. So you should have to ask yourself, has Ford figured something out that Toyota hasn't? Did Toyota have the heyday of getting product to their car dealers? I don't think so. It's been a challenge. So once again, why, 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 why is the used car market tanking when the new car market's still struggling? I'm hearing interest rates. That's what I'm hearing. I think it's uncertainty. I think people are nervous. I don't blame you. You should be nervous. You should be very nervous. Where this country is right now with this governing bodies... You should be very worried of what they're doing. There's no doubt. I never said that years ago, but as I get older in life and I see that people are in power and the devious things they're doing, yeah, they are. They're just doing things that make no sense. Not at all. All right, it's all about the Ford Bronco Rapper Day. Can you believe it? Wow. So what's this, number 23? I don't even know. I guess, I think it is. Yeah, sincerely, I think this would really... I mean, sincerely, last night I got home, and I really just wrote this whole thing off. I just really came to closure, like, you know what? Forget it. It's not going to happen. It's not, it, just isn't, it just doesn't make sense. I'm not going to do it. And then, sure enough, when I've kind of come to closure at like 10 o'clock at night, that you know what? It's all good. It just wasn't meant to be. And it's fine. I mean, this has happened numerous times. And then my finance guy texts me, hey, I haven't given up. So then I'm like, uh, you need to know part of me is like, yeah, I give up. Whoa, this guy here is totally like freaking texting and driving that big rig. So for me, what's be really interesting here is I am driving the Bronco, regular Bronco, and I'm going to get a lot of time behind the wheel driving right to get the new Bron Bronco R, the Bronco Raptor, and is it that radically, am I going to be like, wow, this thing's insane? I mean, am I really going to be like, wow? I mean, that's, that's, I have driven the vehicle. I have no idea. I can get this vehicle start driving home and be like, oh my God, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done this. Yes, that could possibly happen. All right, I could talk all day. Have you noticed that? If anybody follows my channel, yes, I could talk all day. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just kind of sum it up here. I'll kind of show the rest of the video of me getting there and getting the car. How about that idea, right? Instead of hearing my ever-ending conversation ideas of life, wife doesn't really know what's going on at this point which oh, that's a, that's great right yeah she probably didn't even realize I left the property yeah then I'll be, then I'll be like at 5 30 where are you I don't know that's debatable that'll be the kid the kid we call him. yeah the kid 
she called me this morning wanting to know how we can get that car. So there it's like, oh no, here we go. The double, you know, now double wheel. Now, not only me, now I got the kid. Yikes, right? Yikes. All right, beautiful half day. Let's enjoy it. It's the Braptor day. Now, one thing about this, uh, the Braptor is going to be, it has a 4,500-pound tow capacity. So that's really encouraging because now I'm not going to be fighting that motorcycle trailer. If you remember, I was towing with this trailer, and I'm towing like 3,800 pounds when it's really rated for 3,200 pounds. The four-door Bronco is a 3,200-pound rated vehicle. It's the two-door vehicle that's 3,500 pounds. So, talk about that. I mean, holy crow. I didn't even know that. So, I'm, I'm technically 600 pounds over what I'm supposed to uh, tow with. Yeah. So, this, the Raptor is 4,500 pounds. So, that's encouraging. There's a plus. Like I said, the downside is it's going to be a gas hog. Yeah, does that have a bigger tank? you have a bigger tank? I doubt it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me along in the Iceman Ice Age TV Ford Bronco Raptor. I mean, never even planned. I mean, I already knew that the people buying the Bronco Raptors, these were factory orders for individuals, and I already knew that if anybody got one and they wanted to flip it, yeah, I just told you, they're going to be trying to get a buck. They're going to be trying to get 100 to 110 grand, if not more, out of these vehicles. So I already knew. It's like, I'm not going to be in that ball game. But I already knew that a dealer had ordered one. Probably is not going to let it go for a really, you know, good deal. Yeah, can you blame them? So for me, you know, this is just a very rare, this is just out of the blue, crazy thing that has happened. It was never, I was never even fixated on me buying. Remember the other day when I was on my video, I was like, what am I going to do next? And I was like, I don't know. Yeah, when I say that, I'm sincere about that. You know, I mean, I don't know. I didn't have something up my sleeve. I had no idea. That's just the car gods. To me, the danger is it's the car gods. I call it the car gods. For me, I just run into these deals. And I know, it must be like, eh, yeah, everybody gets a deal. All right, whatever. I'm just sharing with me. I don't know if many people make a YouTube channel. They're just getting a, a Raptor where the dealer had their own special unique order and it wasn't a person that walked away. I mean, you know, I'm sure there probably is. I mean, who knows? But for me, the area that I live in, there's no Raptors around. There's no Raptors. Yeah, I mean, that's the facts. My area. You're not going to find a Ford Bronco wrap. And if you do, you're going to pay huge money for it. This thing has 37 inch tires, that's damn thing. This would be crazy. I really wanted the Raptor 37 tire package when I was buying my Raptor, but I just never could justify the money for it. That was just too much. I couldn't get the deal. And that's the interesting thing about January of this past year, or last fall. I had a deal on a Raptor uh, 37 Ford F-150 truck, and I just decided to walk away from the deal. I didn't do it. So yes, I do walk away from the deal. Sorry, right, call me along. Oh boy, we're in traffic. Major accident. Sorry, you're having a bad day, right? Can't see it because of all the traffic, right? So, is that guy part of the problem? Did the truck trailer wipe out that guy and wiped it out? Probably. Yep. Yep, there you go. It just doesn't end, does it? That's why body shops stay in business. All right, we're getting ever so closer. 3.30, traffic's heavy. And we're just around the corner from the Bronco Exchange. 
We're catching every red light. Every red light. Every red light. Is that is that a warning? Is that a sign? Stop. Stop. Just don't do it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it is. Stop. Just don't do it. Run. All right. Here we is. I mean, good Lord. How many times have you seen this video? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Too many times. I just got to think of myself. So for me, this would be three Bronco purchases just this year. Oh my goodness, where's the Mach? Did my Mustang Mach E finally sell? See, that's not it because it doesn't have tinted windows. So here we are. Here's the big shebang. Oh, there it is. The cactus gray has the orange seat belts. Wowsker, wowsker. Look at that. Let's look at this here. Look at, I mean, it's just a monster. I mean, come on. This thing is just so beefy. Beefy. So 10,000, you can't even see it. 10,309 miles is how many miles put in this vehicle since January. It's January of this, uh, this year. And I haven't even driven this thing for like the last... I would say, really, you know, much. The last two, three months. All right here is the big shebang right here. Let's go. Okay. So look at this thing here. I just really want to park it next to it. So you can just kind of see. You can just see the difference in the uh, size of these vehicles. I mean, look at that. I mean, goodness gracious. Wow. See, getting in this thing, like mine, I can see, I can, mine, I can put my foot up in here and get in. This vehicle here, you have to grab, you know, you have to step into this vehicle, which I was saying, I don't know, man, that's kind of a, you know, I'm getting to be an old fart. I'm getting to be an old man. So now, oh my goodness, wow. But now sitting kind of, you know, what's interesting, sitting now in this vehicle, do I feel like I'm that much higher in that vehicle? I don't. I mean, right now, in all fairness to my Bronco over there, I do not feel like it's that, you know, but it looks, it. the sun's totally taken away though. There's a GT500, the kid wants that bad. How do we make that go down, right? So here it is out in the sunshine. So here's that cactus gray, which that's the original color that I ordered that vehicle in. At the last minute, I changed it to Hot Pepper Red. I mean, I think this thing would be badass, the Hot Pepper Red. It already looks good in, the, in this here. So let's get the, uh, in the sun, you can see so much more out here. See the uh, seats here, leather and suede. That's a suede. I like the uh, seat belts. I like the trim. See the, all the, the trim stitching? That's really cool. So, yeah, all the little theme here. Isn't that neat? That is so neat. Oh, my gosh. Just badass. I mean, and see, the, see this has, does mine have it? Oh, my gosh. So, I'm just delusional. I didn't, mine has it, too. So, same mirrors. Wow. Yep. You know, I'm sure some here would say, dude, I'd keep yours. I mean, I, I really honestly think that some people watch this video would be like, I wouldn't do it. I mean, sincerely, I'm sure some people are like, look, that, that hot pepper red looks so nice. I mean, sincerely, if you look at it, that's just challenging, even for me. Even for me, I really need to drive this thing up the road. I mean, I would be the smartest thing to do right now. Just drive this thing. Is this thing as badass as mine? I really should do that. I'm gonna do that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a test drive. We have to take a test drive. First thing you got to do is do a remote start. Let's hear the exhaust. I mean, here's you know, I just love my red Bronco. It's 
Not bad. That's not bad. Mike's a little more throaty over there. We'll have to probably change that out. All right. You want to hear mine? Let's listen to mine. I keep her going. No, no, keep her. Okay. We'll do mine. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, oh, wait a second. Let's no. let's do that one too. Hold on. Maybe I'm delusional. Oh, we got a winner. I don't know. Let's see here. It's 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 within reason, right? All right, we got to get in and take a test. We have. Uh, I, I'm just second guessing myself right now. So I got to drive us. All right, here we go. Can I actually get in this way? I probably can. Kind of tight the nah. See, for me, I can't get in that way. There's no way I can get in without stepping on this this uh, step. Hey, so the... I mean, no way. What, do you, what, do you, what do you say about the DT500? Oh, we haven't talked about that yet. All right. All right, so here we are. Here we are, and truck's on. Out of seats feel. Seats feel good. Nice. Mirrors are good. Okay. Yeah, look at you. Same thing. Yeah, I know. See, that's the thing. He's looking for a handle. See there? Yeah, there you go. Right. All right. Now, let's get her in gear. Okay. Let's just see how bad boy is. She's got... 15.1 miles on her. Wow, so you can already feel the big tires. Wow. We're not going for a long ride. We're nah, just, right. Well, I already told him that, you know, I'm not going to do that to him. So let's go. Okay, so now let's just go over the bumps. And, you know, I'm not going to even put the brake on. Not shabby. Not too shabby. All right. So the tires steering wheel right now steering wheels good not much different from my feel of my vehicle okay so good you know nice nice pickup not bad at all and it's not even in sport mode hit my button too get the windows up there you go so so far so, you know, for me, what I'm trying to figure out right now, so going down the road, yeah, I feel, I definitely feel up higher, even though when you kind of look at mine versus mine. Oh, do we have, oh, here's the exhaust note. Here we go. So let's go to the exhaust note. I'm going to get this out of here. Okay, so now, exhaust note. All right, so nothing. I mean, I didn't shoot. I didn't see much on that. So you know, it's incredible. Like, so my exhaust note, because I put a, a, you know, a, a muffler on it. But right now, so now you're in quiet, normal, sport, and then Baja. But that goes to that, and. All right, so now here's our modes. Let's see here. Let's go to the modes, off-road, Baja. Oh, let's go back to sport. Okay, so there's sport. But I really should do that in, you know what's interesting? When is this thing just, so it's always in the sport? Oh, there's normal. So what I really should do is when I'm going down the road, whoa, buddy, this guy just thought, this guy here is van. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't take us out in that back light. All right, so now let's go to sport. Nope, we have to go backwards. Oof, what was that? Did you feel that? Yikes. That was kind of a kick in the rear end. And... and so we did a shift from the uh, regular to the... Uh, to sport right now this doesn't have anything in the exhaust note like you would kind of think you know what i mean it's not like a real deep exhaust and that's it i mean you're 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 at the highest level exhaust yeah so there's quiet 
What's interesting is quiet's no different. Or is it? Normal. There's normal. Hmm. Just a little bit. Just a tad. Not much. So the brake's good. A lot of people. So right now, this isn't radiating. That's kind of cool right there. You hear that? So that's pretty neat. But it's not like radical. So this right now isn't like radically driving different from mine. At this, you know, just being on the road. I'm not saying that you go out on Baja. Yeah, I get all that. You go Baja and mine's not going to hang with this. But it's just general on the road so far, nothing. And the power, it doesn't, this doesn't feel radical on the uh, the power. I'm just trying to hear it right now in my mode settings. Okay, so you can kind of do your own thing here to, to uh, do that. My view. Okay. All right, the lights. It just doesn't end. All right. So right now for me, it is, I'm, you know, what's interesting is I'm reading on the forum that this thing has like incredible power. I'm not feeling that. I mean, I might feel this, like, radical difference from my Bronco to this. I mean, I'm not, like, feeling this, like, I'm getting, like, a kickback. I mean, this is a lot of vehicle. This is 37-inch tires. That's a lot. That in itself. But I'm not really feeling, like, this thing here, even though they do the races in these things, and I know this will beat my Bronco because there's more power and all, but it's not radiating like that really, like, you know, huge difference. At this moment. So, let's see. And, you know, if you're the serious off-roading guy, I mean, there's an, it's a no-brainer on this vehicle. I mean, I get it. If you're the guy that's doing really radical off-roading, you know, this is the vehicle for you. For a guy like me, that's, yeah, I mean, sincerely, yeah, it's not really, it's not really worth it, really. But nice. So far, it's nice. And how the, uh, handles the bumps, Nice. And what's interesting, too, is somebody's making a comment in the Bronco Forum that there's a lot of wind noise in this vehicle. I'm not hearing it. I mean, in fact, right now, I feel like this vehicle has less wind noise. Right? Which that's kind of, but we're not at the higher speeds. So we kind of get up the road and do a little higher speeds when I kind of come to closure on that. Do you think on 695, it's going to be backed up down the whole way? What's your guess? Yeah, you have to go to your own. But it's showing on that? You got to go to your ways. Well, will you be able to see up here on the right hand side over here yeah. what's going on? Because I can turn uh, around this road. Right there. See, I'm looking. Yeah, so the it's cars moved, are moving. moving pretty good. Yeah, so it'd be nice to get to see up on the open road. The other side's kind of slow on that way. Yeah, exactly. We'll get a good speed. We'll probably get up to like 65, 70. All right, with a glimmer of hope here, we're gonna get through this light here and beat everybody else and not find somebody else's trunk. And do we get a chance to kind of, you know, get into this thing and not too radical because kind of want to break it in if you can. You don't want to get too crazy. So the power, you know, as far as the power goes, oh yeah. I mean, she gets down the road no problem at all. Definitely tons of power. I can feel that more now, kind of getting out on the open highway. So, yeah, she kind of rock and rolls. But it isn't, to me, like radical power. It's good. I mean, this thing rock and rolls, no doubt. So as far as that goes, you know, the truck definitely has good power. Now, we couldn't kind of get up to the higher speeds because we're in the traffic. But I'm not hearing, it just doesn't seem like it has the wind noise like kind of like mine does. But that's hard to believe. Why would that be? I can't figure that out. It's the same cab. You know what I mean? So here's the adaptive cruise, and it's already set. Because when you turn it on, it automatically goes to that. Okay, so that's that's a nice feature. So the instrumentation, the layout, it's all the same as mine. The interior is all the same as mine. So there isn't really anything radically different as far as the technology goes to the vehicle besides the Raptor, you know, your Raptor settings. 
down there and to, you know, to modify the suspension and everything else, but I'm surprised. Well, it's all about the uh, manufacturing guidelines exhaust. I'm sure, yeah, I mean, for me, I definitely think this thing needs a batter ass exhaust. That's a for sure. So, then let's look here. Trip and fuel. How's that doing? Can't see it being very good. What do we got? Yeah, six miles per gallon. Yeah, we're down to 10 miles to empty. But is this saying, I don't think he has any bigger fuel tank than the regular one. Do you know that? No. I mean, do you, do you, you don't know or you do know? I don't think it is, but I can get it. Yeah, yeah, that. I would think it'd be the same. It's the same, I think it's the same platform. Right. Yeah, so now, rocking and rolling down the road. So now, it's a lighter interior. One thing about this, definitely... The lighter color paint kind of radiates more of a lighter kind of color into the inter in the car, which that's pretty cool. So now we're kind of coming to the corner here. My sales guy is going to hang on for life. So you definitely can feel that 37-inch wheel package. It's going to be interesting. I bet you the tire pressures are all wrong. I have a guarantee of that. Mm -hmm. I'll be amazed. If they aren't, we can check that out when we get back in on that. I can only imagine what the uh, what the tires cost in this thing. You know what I mean? Thirty sevens, at least five hundred dollars each. I mean, there's there's just three thousand dollars in in tires between tax, wheel mounting, everything else. That's just crazy. That's how much cars used to cost back in the 60s. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there's my Bronco. So here we go into the turn into Coons, Ford, Baltimore. One of the, probably one of the first and rarest that have had actually a stocked Bronco. Would you have to agree with that? Mm -hmm. Without it being a, an order by a customer? I would think you're the only one in the East, Middle East, you know, the Middle Lake area. Got a stock, the stock Bronco. A stock Bronco. Stock. Yeah, bro, yeah. I mean, I doubt there's anybody who has ones that came in for a factory dealer order. Right. What, what would be your guess? All right, so let's do this here. Five in a nation. So let's do this here now. So let's get these. Yeah. So that's what's to see here. Now two we inches. sit up higher, but do you think that we sit up a lot higher? About two inches. About two inches higher. All right. So now look at the seats. That's interesting. They reverse the brake. The brake is down instead of up. That makes no sense. Yeah, so now to get out, I mean, to get out of this thing, you gotta slide out. So look here, it isn't as radical as you'd think it is. Look. Wow. So look at it. So you know as well as I do, if I had a 37 inch tire in this thing, it's the exact same thing as far as that goes. It doesn't hear that. What do you got? This is where it changes. That's where it changes. First of all, you're nine inches wider. Suspension. Yeah. And underneath the skid plate's way bigger. Yeah. Yeah, bigger skid plate, lower control arm. Look at that. They match. Look at that. Yeah. But you know, now they're kind of next to each other. It's not that radically as different as you kind of think at first. You know, there's a nice change. I mean, it's a nice look. You got it away from the it actually, the grill. And it actually. Forward instead of the Bronco, just like the Ford Raptor. Right. Get the Raptor where you want. Yeah, that's at. a good point. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's that's cool. So it's kind of it's growing on me. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Got to get a picture of that. Yes, look at the hood. Oh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? That's really neat. Oh, look at the windshield. Is the windshield the same? Yeah, it has to be. It's the same windshield. Wow. I mean, 
So you got the Bronco kicking right there. What's this have? So it's blacked out. The same thing. It has the little protective thing there. Mine doesn't have that. So this has the Goodyear tires. This has the BF Goodrich tires, which this is the better tire. Okay. What are you seeing up there? Accessory rating. You know, uh, edge or lights. What now? Accessory rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, yeah. You put lights in there? Yeah. Your uh, light brackets? Yep, light bracket. Right. Okay. So now in here, the back. Wow. It's the back, so that you get the better your tow hooks in the back. That doesn't. Well, it has one that has two. Just look at the back suspension. Look at the difference on the rear suspension. So look at the axle and everything. See there? You see down in there? Okay, there's that versus that. Yep. Yep. The lights. See, here's your difference. Lights here are different. Okay. Fenders. Yeah, your fenders are different. You, of course, the bigger wheel and tire package. Of course, a different suspension underneath of the vehicle. Um, you know, look at your freaking gas shocks. You don't have that. You got the nice fender. The aesthetics for your hood. Definitely a different grill. Has the uh, the Raptor traditional little lights in the grill, like the Ford Raptor or the lights. But mine doesn't have the lights in the lower bumper. So is this the modular bumper that you can... So see here? So if I was smart, I'd unbolt that right now. And I would bolt that on right now to this you know what I mean yeah well that's debatable isn't it so here's your sensors okay all right and there's the GT500 wow decisions decisions right it's just such a nice truck And, but then you have this. I get the grill. No, I know. I'm walking through. Yeah, I know. Checking it all out. All right. What do we do? I mean, what do we do? What would you do? What would you do? Wow. All right. Look at this. This thing looks like it's on steroids. The Bronco on steroids. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. Look at this thing. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're getting ready to write up all the paperwork, get the deal done. I'm going to have a Raptor, Braptor. Oh my gosh. It just doesn't end. It doesn't end. I mean, I'm really liking that color. I'm starting to fall in love with my Raptor. My Raptor. Oh, my gosh. Look, the Raptor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at this thing. Look. Wow. <laughs> Just incredible. Just incredible. It's a Bronco Hour. Uh, lady here just bought that beautiful uh, Diamond Edition Bronco. And that's just things beautiful. And she's asking me a lot about my Bronco. And I was explaining to her about it. And and also, uh, I was... was he, hey, yeah, I'm still, I don't know if these guys are taking this or not. Hold on. All right. He is going to take it down. Take all the, the uh, stickers off of it. Clean it up, get it ready to go. Look at that. Wow. I mean, come on. Jeez. Wow. Hard to believe that this is all playing out. I mean, it's 
It's too quiet though. I gotta put exhaust on it. Gotta have the pipe. I gotta put an exhaust on it, man. Oh, look for a 